Hi everyone, hope you're well. Mr Higgins here. Okay, obviously we're going through difficult times at the moment and I'm trying to generate some ideas where we can play some PE games at home in a safe environment. Okay, so the game I'm going to come up with is a game that I teach my students at my school is Botcher, but Botcher with socks. Well, hey, uh, Botcher is a target game, um, much like balls, okay, where you're trying to aim for a, t a jack ball. So today I'm going to use the white sock as the jack. And then usually it'd be a blue team versus a red team. Uh, but today we're going to use the pattern socks against the blue socks. Okay, exciting stuff. So I'm just going to quickly show you a demonstration. So here, um, first of all, the first team will release the white, the white jack. Okay, so there you go, we're going to release the white jack. And then to for this game, we're going to take it in turns. Okay, so first of all, the pattern socks are going to have a go to see who can get the closest. Then the blue team. Not very good there. Okay, then we're going to have the pattern socks again. And then finally the blue. And then what we can do, we can measure to see who's the closest. And in this example, the closest to the white is the pattern. And therefore, the pattern team win. One nil. Well, hey. Um, obviously, students that I teach sometimes have difficulty in throwing a botcher ball and therefore will at home have difficulty in throwing a botcher sock. Um, so what we're trying to think of is ideas that, that help them facilitate some movement. Um, at school, we usually use ramps um, or some slides where the students can then sort of push the ball down to move. And we appreciate you might not have that equipment at home. So thinking of household items that you could use, possibly we could use the the, the tray that you might use to eat your tea, eat your dinner, etc., eat your lunch. So what we could do here is, and we do this in PE, is where the students, we're using a ramp, but obviously this example using a tray, we place the ball at the top, and then the student will place their hand next to it, and then gradually facilitate some movement where they're able to just push they put the ball off the ramp and then slide it down towards the target. Um, so that's that's um, one item we could use. You could uh, we also have guttering um, if you've got that some of that lying around. But please, please don't go up and snap some off um, or, or, or get creative. Um, also, the students may may need some support in releasing the ball. They might be taking a bit of time to get warmed up or. Um, just need a bit of facilitated movement. Um, so it could be there where you they you place their hand on top and then your hand sort of goes on top of theirs and you sort of work as a team to just gently push the ball, or on this occasion the sock, off your off your ramp, off your slide, where it can roll off and then it gives the, the student the sensation that they've they've made that made that initial move. The key here is to be patient. If you're using the uh, item like a tray, uh, be patient. Allow the student time to initiate the movement. That's what we want. We want it to be as independent from the student as possible. That's what we do in PE. Okay, so allow that time, and then hopefully you can have some fun. So stay safe. Okay, uh, let me know how you get on, and. Let's have some fun, okay? But most of all, find a safe space to play, okay? And let's see, Sock Watcher, hey! See you later.